All right, this is a uh, how-to video for how to use this thing. This is the uh, seed treatment apparatus uh, thing that I've assembled. Uh, it's got the Variac. The Variac gets plugged into the wall. It's this cord. Uh, keep the Variac on zero when you turn it on, all the way counterclockwise. Turn it on. You'll be able to get a volts output in here. So as you fiddle with it. All right, the volts goes up, comes up, comes down. All right, and then, so this will give you your VAC reading. Uh, and then on the seed apparatus, over here, this meter. That meter will give you your current reading at the 120 VAC, or at whatever the low volt side of the AC is. All right. Here's your current. The point where it pops up right there, that's in resonance, and that's also what happens to show over here as the full 10 kilovolts DC, okay? Uh, and you don't actually have to go all the way up. I put a purple mark on here, or a mark. Right there is where it pops into resonance. So if you turn anywhere past that point all the way up here, you're just pushing more current, and you're not getting any better voltage. So there's really no need to do that, but you can if you want. It might actually cause arcing on the full wave bridge rectifier that's comprised of eight 15 kilovolt 100 milliamp 100 nanosecond diodes in pairs of two in fact if you forget to plug the variac in and plug that directly in and plug this thing the high voltage side in directly and flip the switch uh, it's caused several little arcs to actually jump a couple of the diodes for a quick second before it stopped so that's something to be aware of but let's go ahead and walk through. So we'll turn the variac back to zero. Uh, and let's see if I can get it all on here. So watch the voltage here. You can see you got pretty decent resolution. You don't have to turn very high or very quickly to be able to get uh, a lot of kilovolts DC, right? So that's 1,000 volts, 2,000 volts, 3,000 volts. 4,000 volts, 5,000 volts, 6,000 volts, 7,000 volts, 8,000 volts, and there's granularity in between there, so you can actually get 7,500, 7,200. That's about as specific as you'd be able to get as a rough estimation. Uh, and then at about the 900 or at the 9,000 mark is where it kicks into resonance. So you see right there, it pops up. If I come up to the nine kilovolt mark, pop, it goes up there. Okay, so that's in resonance. And that's also actually at the purple mark point right here. Uh, so there's that. So that's how you control the voltage. Uh, this is the milliamp reading, which didn't register anything because no current's actually flowing. Got the negative kilovolt DC output on the left and the positive kilovolt DC output on the right. Uh, and then you've got uh, a pair of banana leads. So we can just do, we'll do it like this and like that. And then you'll run the banana leads over to the two plates. The, the black one is negative. Black one connects to the bottom plate. So as far as I'm concerned at that point, you're going to want to have just a clear space that has uh, no metal near it at least on top of like a, an inch thick wood or something that gives you decent insulation because you're going to just put the plate on top of whatever that surface is and connect this to that surface. Don't do marble or granite or anything that might have conductive properties inside it. Marble's probably okay, but granite probably will have conductive. Uh, and then you would put the Petri dish on top of the bottom plate that's connected to the black lead. And then once you put your seeds in the Petri dish, you put the other plate on top and you connect the red lead to the far side on the opposite side but to the top plate and then you would you would probably want to go ahead and dial in the voltage that you're going to have right so say you want 2,000 volts I got those leads plugged in let me unplug those real quick because I don't want that to shorten out through the wire but let's just see so let's say you want to treat uh, let's call it 3,000 volts right so dial it up, get it right on your 3,000 volt mark, and then just turn this one off. 
All right, and now you get the rest of it set up. Seeds in place, plates in place, alligator clips touched. Uh, and then you can start the timer just by flipping the power switch. Okay, start at 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, whatever, however long you're gonna run it, and then you just shut it off. And then take the, this part all apart and take these off, remove it, and then you can go dial in the next one and do whatever. All right, so that's, that's how I would do it if I was going to make use of this apparatus, but I'm gonna send this off to a pal, uh, and I'm gonna hope he's gonna get a chance to make use of it, and if not, that's cool too, but it gave me a little something to do that wasn't for my own gratification, so. That actually gratifies me. <laughs> anyway, cool. Hope you guys dig it.